the state of New Jersey is suing the Ford Motor Company. It's about years of hazardous waste dumping on Native American land in Passaic County dating back to the 1960s. CBS 2's Nick Calloway spoke to people living there about the impact of this toxic pollution. In the hills of Ringwood, New Jersey, a toxic sludge has quietly lingered in the soil and water for decades. This indigenous community was literally used as a dumping ground. That's the definition of environmental injustice. DEP Commissioner Sean LaTourette says the state is seeking compensation from Ford to repair the degraded natural resources. Starting in the 1960s, officials say the automaker disposed of thousands of tons of toxic paint sludge in the forests and mines around Ringwood. There have been plenty of attempts to clean up the hazardous waste. Here's footage from 2006. The Ford plant in nearby Mawa closed long ago, but the pollution remains. Toxins like lead and arsenic can be found in the soil. Many of the 200 people who live nearby are members of the Ramapo Lenape Nation. They've lived on this land for generations and say the toxic dumping has killed some and left others with chronic illness. I lost a list of relatives to cancer. I have irritable bowel syndrome. I have, you know, psychiatric issues. Today um, brings us the promise, right, of a new day. Vincent Mann is chief of the turtle clan of the Ramapo Lenape Nation. He said the lawsuit brings some hope for justice. Justice for our people is a clean environment in which to begin to heal before we actually can begin to thrive. But many tribal members are skeptical anything will be done anytime soon. Ford tells us in a statement that the company takes environmental responsibility seriously, adding that company officials just received the lawsuit and cannot comment further. In Ringwood, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. And the exact amount of money the lawsuit is seeking is not known, but experts say it's likely in the millions of dollars.